So you want to be understood by remembering what you say, yeah. and you want to be understood by your reactions in the moment. Perfect. Yeah, I'm good at this, aren't I? What I'm doing today for my YouTube channel is just asking people if there's a problem I can solve, because I'm really good at solving any problem. If you throw anything at me, I can probably give you a solution that'll make sense. Communication. Problem. We fight a lot. Can, yes, you do. We fight yeah. a lot. Come, yeah. come to my office. Come down here for a yeah. sec. So how long have you guys been together for? Uh, it's Almost. been like around a year. A year, a year yeah. Did you use a no kissing for three months dating rule before you started a relationship? No. How long did you know each other before you kissed? Like, yeah. Not really. We didn't okay. know each other. We didn't like even talk, but we were, we were just like, yeah, I know her. Or right. She, I, I, she knows me or something. Okay. So what's the topic of the most common fight? Not like there's not every like single topic or something, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, misunderstandings. So oh, misunderstandings. Is it? A misunderstanding because there's an overabundance of stress, fear, and anxiety, and somebody's having an over-emotional reaction. Yeah. Is there somebody picking up stress, fear, and anxiety outside the relationship and coming home stressed and then vomiting into the relationship? Because no. there's different there's different reasons for those misunderstandings. So it's not coming from it outside. It's just a communication problem on the inside. Yeah, it's inside. It's and just between us, yeah. what do you wish he understood more about you? He should understand, like, I said something, he should, like, keep that in mind. At least remember what I said. Okay, and what do you wish she understood more about you? I, like, I don't want anything, I just want that she just understands me. Like, right. how I am, what I am. Okay, yeah. so you want to be understood by remembering what you say. Yeah. And you want to be understood by your reactions in the moment. Perfect. Yeah, I'm good at this, aren't I? <laughs> okay, have you guys ever done a love language quiz? No. No. I do recommend you do this because it's going to increase understanding, which both of you are saying you want more of. There's a 30 question quiz online. If you Google uh, love language quiz, there's one with 10 questions. There's one with 30 questions. Do the 30 question one. It'll take you five minutes, but do it at the same time. And then you exchange your results. The love languages are physical affection, words of affirmation, quality time, gifts, and acts of service. If you're speaking a different language, but you don't know you're speaking different languages, you're not understanding that your partner loves you because you're speaking English, but they're speaking German, so it's not registering. Doing that quiz and then exchanging your results and having a conversation, do you see how physical affection is so high for me? This is how you can make me feel like you really love me by giving me, you know, at least two five second kisses a day. <laughs> like right? These are a lot, actually, yeah. Or my love language is gifts. This is how you can make me feel more loved by looking at the list that I put on our shared Google Drive, where I mark the things that I wish you would get me as a gift. And then instead of him having to remember what the gift is that you want, he can just go into that list that you created for him. So he's still remembering what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. but you're making it easy for him to remember. The list, the test will help us a lot. It's going to help. Them. Yes, very much. You got to remember the number one most important relationship rule. It's not fair to ask for anything you're not willing to do first. So the level of understanding you want to have is the level of understanding you need to practice with your partner. <laughs> do you guys live together? Yeah. No. We, not we do, now. but not now. Okay. We used to live before we left. Now we live in different cities. Uh, we live in Windsor and I, I live, live in Kitchener. Windsor and she's like okay. in Kitchener, yeah. Doing that love language quiz is also going to help you love each other long distance. Yeah. Because if his love language is physical affection, then you saying things like, I really miss kissing you. I love thinking about holding you. And it triggers the part of his brain where he's remembering that physical affection. Yeah. And then you can send her those gifts that she has on that list. Yeah. Like I'm probably just going back to my country like right now and she's going to be like staying here. So it's going to be a long distance soon. So. Yeah. 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 So we'll need the test. Like we will need to understand we, each other we're more. We're going to do that everything. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you guys doing this with me. Yeah. Do you feel like I helped you at all? Yeah. Yeah. It nice. just, uh, yeah. I know that you just told me like what to do. I'm going to give you guys a book. I recommend this one. I've got three, but I think this is the one for you. Okay. So one is about helping your heart heal faster after a breakup. You don't need that. Yeah. And then this is choosing the right partner. You don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> but this is about making your relationship better through communication. This is what you want. So I'm going to give this one to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. I okay. appreciate, appreciate you. It. Have a good night. Have a good night.